The library. Welcome to Demolition Ranch, glad you're here. Uh, also, don't forget we have hats and shirts for sale, link in the description. This is the Air 15 Eagle shirt. If you don't see your size, like if it says sold out, just check back every couple of days because we get a shipment in a couple times a week. You guys are just like cleaning us out, which I greatly appreciate, but it's made it very stressful in the warehouse. Um, also, it's kind of freezing out here to be in a t-shirt. So I'm gonna put on my jacket real quick. Uh, keep me warm, you know. Oh, much better. Much better. Oh, what? What is that, Matt? We have patches. Check out that new logo. Focus on it. So these are the uh, the rubber patches. They're not embroidered. They're rubber. Look how good it looks. It's 3D. And if you want to be an official demolition member, you need to sport this on your plate carrier or on your patch wall or wherever. But it looks good. We just got the patches in. I'm really excited about having patches. This is right. Okay, feel good. So today, let's get to let's get to this video. This video. Basically, I showed the Maxim 9 in the last video, and I didn't really spend a whole lot of time in it, and I, I wanted, this gun deserves a little more time. So this video, I'm gonna show you the Maxim 9 in detail, not like detail detail, like Demos Ranch detail, and uh, then we're gonna shoot some different rounds through it and compare those rounds. So Matt, what makes this gun so awesome? Good question, let me tell you. This is made by Silencer Co. Silencer Co, up until this gun, from what I understand, only made suppressor silencers. You know, the kind that you would screw on the end of a regular gun. Not, not that one, because it doesn't have a threaded barrel, but a normal gun with a threaded barrel, and they make suppressors for them. So this gun is what you'd call an integrally, integrally suppressed pistol. And we've seen these before in like 22s and rifles and things like that. The barrel is a suppressor but we haven't seen any like mainstream pistols like this in a nine millimeter that are suppressed. So this is pretty sweet. It takes Glock 17 magazines. Glock 17 is the full size Glock, 17 rounds in their magazine. It takes those magazines, which is nice because that's like literally the most common nine millimeter magazine and it's super reliable. So you can put those in here. What's even cooler about that is the Glock 17s also can accept the Glock 18 magazines, which are the 32 rounders, which means also the Maxim 9 can hold 32 rounds in a Glock 18 magazine. Or you can get like those drum mags, I'm sure, and they'd probably work too, but that's pretty neat. So we have a suppressed pistol that holds 32 rounds. Matt, what else does this pistol do? Let me tell you. Before we go any further though, I do need to say this video is not sponsored by Silencer Co. They didn't pay me. They did not give me this gun for free. They did nothing for me. So uh, take that for what you will. Um, so yeah, anyway, Silencer Co's not paying me. YouTube's not paying me. So um, <laughs> buy some batches, please. Here's what a regular full-size pistol looks like. You can see that it, you know, is normal sized. And then this one goes about uh, five inches past that. And obviously, is a lot taller here. You can see if this will focus, which it won't. Come on, see the lines in it right there? You actually can remove some of those and make it shorter. It will also make it louder. So I have mine as long and as quiet as I can get it. It will never be as small as this gun, but if you put a suppressor on this gun, even the smallest suppressor, this gun would be bigger. So this thing, for a suppressed nine millimeter, is actually really tiny and just imagine you can make it a good inch and a half shorter. What else Matt? What else? Well, it has a place here where you can remove this cover and you can put a red dot sight, a uh, you know one of those little vortex or the RMRs, Trigicon RMRs and that's on my to-do list. Get a little red dot sight on this. It also has key mod down here. I put this rail on here so that rail is hooked to the little 
key mod you could put flashlights or I guess if you uh, did the paperwork you could put a, a little forward grip on there which would be pretty sweet if you don't want to use the red dot sight location it does have night sights on it you can't see them because it's not gonna focus but there it is night don't look at me this thing focuses on faces see what we're going to do today is shoot some subsonics and some supersonics out of this. For those who don't know, subsonics are going slower than the speed of sound and supersonics are going faster than the speed of sound. Nine millimeters naturally go faster than the speed of sound. So you have to get like downloaded ones to shoot subsonic. And the reason that that matters is because when they're faster than the speed of sound, even though this will muffle the actual explosion going off in the gun, the bullet going through the air, since it's going faster than the speed of sound, has a crack behind it and it's pretty loud. But if you shoot a subsonic, it's quiet. It was still too cold, so I put my jacket on. So it's gonna be really hard for you guys to tell, I think, because this camera is not gonna show you how loud these things actually are. But what I'm gonna do is, first round is gonna be one of these, like this is a legit nine millimeter elite performance by SIG. So the first bullet out of the gun is gonna be that. The second bullet will be really cheap. Focus, nine millimeter, tool ammo, steel cased, really cheap stuff. And then the last one will be some subsonics. So the first two are supersonics. One is a good one, one is a cheap one. And then we have the subsonic. Now let's see what they all sound like suppressed. Still loud, hurt my ears a little bit. So that was the supersonic. That one sounds exactly the same, still supersonic. And way quiet. So that one, pretty much all the noise you're hearing is just from this thing racking back super hard. Okay, so you guys may not have been able to tell anything from that. So why don't we go ahead and move to uh, just testing how much power each round has. Let's go ahead and just quit shooting the steel case. We're just gonna switch to the other ones. The, the fancy nine millimeter and the subsonics. The first test, we have 12 milk jugs, six in each column. I had to drink so much milk this morning to get this for you. My camera did not record that. I just shot it and you guys missed it and I can't do it again because I busted the water jugs. I think I need to buy a new camera. This one's all beat up anyway. So I'm just gonna tell you what happened. Ugh, that was here, that was there, this was there. So our supersonic came in to the left here. Is there a bullet in there? Nope, came out the back. And oh yeah, went all the way through. The subsonic, I think I see it right here. Yeah, so the subsonic is here. Went through five, came out the back right here, and just bounced off of this and fell right there in the dirt. Well, I feel really bad that that one didn't work out for you guys. You didn't get to see it. It was really fun, you just had to be there. So I'm gonna do a good one for you next. We have our, uh, why is it so dirty? Stuff's falling out of the tree onto this guy. We have our um, clear ballistics gel guy, and he has no bullets in him. You can see some like bubbles. Those are just bubbles inside him. Those aren't bullets. So we're gonna shoot some rounds into this guy. I've never done this before with a nine millimeter. On shooting ballistics dummy, first we're gonna shoot the supersonic. Next we're gonna shoot the subsonic. And then we're gonna shoot this little guy. This is a G2 Research RIP round. And when it hits things, it's supposed to like break apart and be really crazy looking. Someone sent me these a while back and I just haven't had a, a reason to shoot them yet, but we're gonna try it out. and. Ideally, we'd be able to see it in that clear gel. Oh, also, it's been brought to my attention that I say ideally, theoretically, basically, and realistically a lot. The commenters have been, been noticing that. And after editing my videos for years and years, I too have noticed that. And theoretically, I would ideally try to not basically say it all the time, but realistically, I don't have the time to train myself to do that. So it's just gonna keep happening. Okay, supersonic, subsonic, rip. Ready? We're gonna go left side of the chest for super. Look like it went straight through. Right side for sub. Looked like it went through as well. Ooh, the sub jammed. Oh no, it's the rip round jammed. Hmm, well that is interesting. Is this a nine millimeter? It's so interesting that 40 Smith & Wessons do not fire out of nine millimeter pistols. It's definitely a 40. Huh, okay. I didn't even notice. I was just sitting there talking and loading it and I just, I didn't buy these, someone sent them, so I just assumed they were nines. Okay, uh, let's edit that out, Matt. Theoretically, I would put the right ammo in the right gun. Supersonic entry, 
and it's so hard to see. There it is. You can see where it's going through, and it exited out of a tiny hole right there. Subsonic entry. You can see where it went straight through. Did kind of the same thing in there, and exited right there. Okay, Matt, that showed us nothing. Thanks for that. Little thin sheets of tightly woven fibers, and they'll stop all pistol rounds. So I know they're gonna stop any nine millimeter round I'm gonna fire, but I'm gonna fire both these and see if we can see a difference when one's going way faster. Supersonic first, going left. Subsonic, going right. Let's see what we did. The supersonic stopped, the subsonic went through. Super sub. Nothing on the back of this, but this one, you can see a line going through where he got hit in the chest. So I don't really know what to think about that. I was pretty sure this thing is marked level 3A+, plus, so I was pretty sure that this thing would stop bullets, but I'm gonna shoot it with a couple more subsonics and see what happens. It looks like out of four, two of them went through. Very curious. I will say, we're shooting these bullets, and they, while they're subsonic, they are solid copper. They're not lead, and they're pointy. Maybe, maybe that pointy makes a difference? Uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, that went right through there with a nine millimeter subsonic. I just blasted this thing with five more supersonic rounds. It stopped every one of them. What? So, I actually found some bullets. Here is one of the subsonics that did not make it through. And what I want you to notice is it's pretty much still bullet shaped. It's a little bent, because copper is not very hard, but it's harder than lead. It's a little bent. Let me show you one of the lead bullets. It's totally flattened out. Totally a disc. This is the entire bullet. I can see the front of it there, the front copper there, and the back copper here. But it's totally squished. And that's what these vests are supposed to do. They're supposed to squish it. But these copper bullets stay together so much better and have all of their force on that one pointy tip. And we're going through in a few other places. I'm not gonna say the name of this company because I'm gonna give them a benefit of the doubt and say this was not a complete vest obviously it's pieces um i still thought it would stop a nine millimeter but it didn't so i'll reach out to them and see just so you can see what we have here you can see how many times i shot the front of it and here's the back we have three holes one two three i think i shot six supersonics and five subsonics and three subsonics made it through here Pretty weird. There's one more thing that I did not know about suppressors until just recently. So for those who don't know, inside a suppressor, they have what are called baffles. And so the bullet fires through the suppressor and then the fire from the explosion behind it fills up those baffles one by one, each time shrinking the noise. And by the time it comes out, it's fairly quiet. So right now the baffles are empty. They're just dead space. They're full of air. Air has oxygen. Oxygen is flammable. When you first fire that bullet through there and the fire fills up the whole suppressor, it burns up all the oxygen in there. So then the second shot is going through and there's no oxygen to burn and it is an audibly different sound. It's quieter. I'm not gonna hit the target so you won't hear that noise. So just listen to the difference between the first and the second shot. I don't know if you'll be able to tell but they get progressively quieter. I should have my glasses on. You probably can tell that that is super loud compared to the gunshot. It's actually really weird to be shooting steel without ears because it usually is very quiet compared to the gunshot. But since I don't have any earmuffs on, the gun is quiet and the steel is like super loud right now. Except when you don't hit it. See how warm this thing is after. It's hot, it's hot. So this is the Silencer Co. Maxim 9. Fully 
integrated suppressor into a 9mm pistol. And as far as I know, they've done this better than anyone has done this before. I don't even know if anyone has successfully brought to market a 9mm pistol, but this thing is freaking cool. It looks cool. It uses Glock mags, which was super smart to do. It has a place to put a red dot and a place to put a flashlight. Silencer Co. did a really good job on this. And I've had no issues with it. It doesn't feed 40 Smith & Wesson very well, um, but it feeds every 9mm I put in it very well, subs and supers. Once again, please go check out our store. Get yourself a patch if you want to be part of the Demolitia. We'd love to have you. We actually are taking up oh, these buzzards. What's going on over here? Look at this. I have no idea what's happening, but I don't like it. And I feel like something's about to happen that I'm not aware of, but the buzzards are aware of them. Anyway, if you want to be part of the Demolitia, we'd love to have you because the zombie apocalypse is definitely going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And when it happens, you're all welcome to come here. I have guns for everyone, but you have to have the Demolition Ranch patch to get in the door. That's how I know you're a true Demolition member, and you and I will save the human race. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Go check out Ranch Merch in the description. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!